Hey, my name's Talia. I'm a rock climbing guide and a wilderness guide at Outdoor Adventures. Today, we're introducing you to my new series called Outdoor Adventure Training with Talia. Each week, we're going to cover different trips that we offer at Outdoor Adventures. This week's topic is rock climbing. Come on, let's go. Our climbing trips take you to a granite crag called Consumnus River Gorge, just outside of Placerville. This crag is beginner friendly, offering top rope, trad, and bolted sport climbing. It's also enticing because of its short approach and a great view of the river. All of the gear you need for the trip will be provided by OA. Personal gear for a climbing trip includes a helmet, a harness, and climbing shoes, as well as a belay device. You always want to bring snacks, sunscreen, and lots and lots of water. Your guides will provide the rest of the group gear required to set up top ropes. At this point, you probably want to get to Consumnus already. Alas, do not despair. There are ways you can begin to train for our trips that will help make them even more enjoyable in the future. Since climbing such a versatile sport, we'll cover a few different muscle groups. One of the most common struggles for new climbers is forearm exhaustion due to a buildup of lactic acid. In order to prevent this, we can work to strengthen our wrists and forearms. Wrist curls are really effective for this. You don't want to lift your forearms while doing these. These work really well with a set of dumbbells. A standard pull-up is one of the best exercises you can do for climbing. If you're thinking, but I don't have a pull-up bar, fear not. If you can find a sturdy tree branch, you can use that. You can also do pull-ups on your door frame. While this is a bit tougher, it targets your forearms and grip strength. Other modifications of the pull-up include Frenchies as well as dead hangs. Just make sure to engage your shoulders while you do these. In order to prevent injury, we want to train antagonist pushing muscles as well. A standard push-up will accomplish this while strengthening your triceps and pecs. Make sure to keep your back straight and your wrists in line with your shoulders. A modified push-up to target finger strength is a fingertip push-up. Finally, we'll pay some attention to our legs since they're our biggest and most powerful climbing muscles. Weighted jump squats imitate the power needed to make strong, dynamic moves. To avoid injury, make sure to push your weight towards your heels so that your knees aren't extending past your ankles. Now it's time to head over to Sophia for some climbers yoga. Hey everybody, my name is Sophia and today I'm going to be showing you a couple different yoga poses to be able to help stretch out those muscles and make them feel a little more relaxed after a full day of climbing. So the first one that you are probably going to want to um, start with is going to be child's pose. So this is where your toes are together, your knees are out to either side of the mat and you fold over into the mat, head on the ground, fingers extended, palms firmly placed into the mat, and just take a couple of deep breaths here. The next thing that we're going to do is come into um, a sitting position with your legs out in front, and then you're going to start by removing the flesh from underneath your sits bones from either side, and then reaching your hands all the way up to the sky, you're going to inhale and then exhale all the way forward so that you can touch the tips of your toes. If you can't reach all the way, you can just place your um, palms of your hands on your shins or on your ankles or wherever they feel comfortable. And then just relax your neck just like this. This pose really helps to um, stretch out your lower back also your neck, and then really get into your hamstrings. The next pose is gonna be for your arms, so you're just gonna be doing a couple different stretches here. Um, the first is bringing one arm over to the opposite side, turning your face over the shoulder, and just giving it a nice big stretch. Don't forget to go to the other side. Um, the next one is gonna be bringing that arm over the top of your head, bending the elbow, and then grabbing that elbow with the opposite hand, and just gently stretching it back, and then bringing your gaze in towards your chest. This is going to help um, relax those muscles in your arms that are going to be specifically targeted from a day of climbing. Mm -hmm. 